In this video, we're going to be talking about the cartoon water shader that is included in the August free for the month collection in the Epic Game Store Marketplace. And again, I highly recommend you check the tutorials over here to get an idea on how to use this or this water shader. It doesn't just include the materials just for the water, but it also contains buoyancy physics, stencil masking, including river lake ocean all of those things so it's a very capable and very much loaded when it comes to features so i had already downloaded it and i'm going to open it up so i'm using the third person template for the water shader so i had already opened it up and played around with it so i'm going to first open the the lake demo map you can actually play this Currently, there is some weird physics going on on the boat. I had this little water effect and caustics as well. Now, this caustics doesn't get applied to every materials or to every meshes. You have to apply a specific material instance for it to get to work. And I will show you that later. So, you also have buoyancy in this game, in this asset. So if I were to click on here, now you can actually see that we have these test points over here. And these test points actually represent the points which will be used for calculating the buoyancy of our object. So if we were to go to the details, under default you have this option called water test points. You can click over here and you can see all the index for all of these points. And it's there for every object over here. So all these cues, everything that actually floats all have these test points in them and i'll actually go through how to create this later on i'm gonna open up another map yeah i forgot to mention this but there are actually about four cartoon water blueprints that is included in this asset the previous one was the lake cartoon water blueprint this one is actually an ocean so like in the previous map this one also has pretty much the same features if I were to run this, you can see it has everything like we seen before. It has all the buoyancy and all the other effects as well. There isn't much of a difference between the lake and the ocean. Both are very much the same. So I'm just going to open the next level. So this is the river demo of the cartoon water shader. And unlike the previous ones, we control and create the rivers through the use of spline. So you can see over here, you can click on this spline and you can just move this over here to cover areas. And again, like I said previously, the caustics are actually applied on the material of the mesh itself, not by the water. So if you want to have caustics effect, you need to actually get an instance of the base caustics and apply to it. I'll again show how to do this later on. But yeah, to create a new spline point, you can just press the alt key while moving this and it will create a new point you can actually click on any of these spline points then go to details drag down and you have this section called river tool under it you have this river data array click on the river data array and then you have to go to the specific index so i guess i don't know which one it's going to be it doesn't highlight which one I'm selected at. So I'm just going to change the river width. And yeah, that's the one. So this is the second index. So if I were to change the river width, you can actually see it changing the size of the river. You can also make it to adjust to the shape of your landscape. You can do that with any of these spline points. And then lastly, we have this waterfall. It's basically a simple water shader. The particles and the ripples are all separate. It's not included with the water shader. So now I'm just going to go and open up one of the preset template maps in this uh, project. So I already said that I I'm currently using the third person template. And I'm going to use this level to demonstrate how to actually use the cartoon water shader. So I'm just going to go back to the content browser and click on the cartoon water shader. Go to blueprints. 
and under blueprints we are going to select cartoon water blueprints and in here we have a bunch of the options that we have already seen in the previous levels we have the river tool we have the ocean we have the lake and the waterfall so i'm going to use the lake instead and i'm going to drag this over here just adjust the position so it appears properly now we have a water shader and you can see it's already working the moment we kind of added it into a level and you can adjust how you want the lake to appear you have all the options to modify it in the details you can modify the shore distance the water depth refraction intensity and you can just play around with these settings as much as you want so now what i want to do is that i want to actually add caustics in here so the way we're going to do that is i'm just going to go over to the outline over here and then select this cartoon water lake and i'm going to click on this eyeball icon to hide it and we're doing this so that we can see the caustics a lot more clearly to now add caustics i'm going to go to the content browser go to the cartoon water shader then we're going to go to the materials base materials and in here you have a material called m basic caustic and this is the material that we are going to create an instance of a material instance and we're going to apply this material instance to our mesh to control or to have caustics in it so i'm just going to call this test you can you can give any kind of name you want so open this up and in here you have this couple of textures over here and you want to change these three textures so the the base color the normal and the roughness that is included with here is actually from a rock asset as you can see from the name itself we don't need this so you can actually change these three textures you don't need them so i'm just going to give you some random textures so, or you can just clear them all up click on this clear button to clear them all up but you want to avoid modifying the texture of these two these two textures actually represent the caustics and again if you have a texture that you want to use as your caustic you can use that and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this directly into the level over here well it haven't really changed i'm just going to give a texture so i'm going to save this and now it's kind of updated all right so now if you can see our caustic is not actually appearing yet and to make this appear we need to go to the cartoon water shader again go back to materials and in here you have this option you have a folder called material collections so we'll click on this and you have this folder called caustics and wetness click on this and this will give you all kinds of control parameters for caustics and wetness that you can actually control and we are going to modify the first value here is the value at index 0 called caustics height and in here we have the default value given as minus 1.0 and that is the reason why it's not appearing because our caustics is a bit too high so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the value of this and you can see immediately the caustics start to appear you can increase the height to kind of increase the intensity by a bit again you have so many other controls over here that you can modify but i'm not going to go through all of these you can just play around with the settings yourself so i'm going to just close this up and add our cartoon water shader and now it's more complete with caustics and everything so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add buoyancy in this lake cartoon water shader We have a couple of things to do before we actually get the buoyancy to work and the first thing is that we have to go to the cartoon water shader blueprints buoyancy and in here since we're using the cartoon water shader lake blueprint we need to use the lake manager over here and similarly if we were to create a separate object from scratch you would actually drag the bp buoyant actor and then add a mesh into it so I guess you kind of don't need this but for demonstration purposes I just 
took this over here so you can actually just use the vp point actor instead we're just going to go over to the static mesh and import a boat over here now i had already imported a boat into my project over here so i'm just going to search for it and we have a bunch of these water test points over here so we need to first add our water test points and currently when you first import a new static mesh into your map all the water test points are kind of like overlapping each other over here so i'm just going to drag each of these away so you can see there's this little nice gizmo over here that you can actually click on and then manipulate so this makes the whole process of adding a buoyancy into your project a lot easier you can also create new buoyant points if you want by clicking on this plus icon and you can delete existing ones by clicking on this arrow over here and then clicking on delete all right so there we have it, our buoyant points are all set up so after you have added the points we need to go to the details panel over here drag down and in here we need to change the buoyancy type to lake because we're using the lake blueprint again and we already imported a lake manager over here that is this one bp lake manager so over in the managers we need to click on the none and then select the one that's already in our level that is bp lake manager after that drag down and select similar physics and adjust the value linear and angular damping to something like 1 and that's it so if I were to run this yeah currently you can't really see much because well, there isn't enough water in our level so I'm just going to go over here and increase the water level so first I'm going to just drag this boat up a bit higher and then drag the water a bit higher as well and now if I were to play this there our boat is now floating it's not perfect and that is because we haven't adjusted the position of the test points perfectly yet but currently just from looking at it, it looks very much fine I don't think it's too bad and you can also see that we can see the water inside the boat and in the previous lake demo that we have seen the boat doesn't have any of the water getting inside it and there is a solution for this and that is that we have stencil masking so the water shaders do support stencil masking so we have to we need to use a stencil mask to mask that area away so in order to add a stencil mask we need to go to the cartoon browser and in here go to the cartoon water shader go to meshes row and boat and in here you have something called SM cap. So we first gonna open the BP robot. And in the BP robot, you can actually notice that there is two parts to this. So one is the boat mesh that you can actually see over here, and the other is this little thing called the SM cap, and that is the stencil mask on top of the boat that kind of masks the water underneath it. So we have the BP point act over here, which is actually this one over here. I literally went over here, opened a new blueprint actor and then added our boat mesh inside the static mesh of this one over here. So if yours is empty, you can just go over here and then add your boat into the static mesh over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy the SM cap from here in the BP robot. Then go back to the BP point actor and then paste it and there we have the stencil mask over here now it's very important to know that it's not going to be a perfect fit for our mesh because it's not designed for our mesh over here our boat design is different from what this one is actually been designed for so if you want you can go and use something like blender and literally create a simple mesh that can act as a stencil mask but for now I'm just going to use this one because it's easier for me to use this if you want a more accurate result then I kind of recommend you to actually use something like from blender instead and then create a stencil mask that will properly fit your boat and that's about it 
I'm just going to compile this go over here and then try running this and immediately you can see these tension mask is working you can see towards the side our water is still present inside it but when you look at it from the top you don't see too much again it's bleeding inside it when you look at it in certain directions and again that's because this tensile mask does not properly fit our boat it's not designed for a boat so it's going to look a bit weird on this one and yeah that's about it for this water tutorial there isn't much other than this to talk about i recommend you to check the youtube channel of the creator of this toolkit yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye